So the Take Two earnings call ended earlier today. Now I'm going to provide you guys a bit of a brief summary. But before we get straight into the video today, guys, if you are new to the channel, welcome on in. Please consider subscribing to Project Vice, like, and of course, turn on those post notifications so you never miss an upcoming GTA 6 upload. But without any further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So one of the main reasons you guys probably clicked on this video is because the question that is, is GTA 6 delayed? Well, the good thing is, is that it is not. Currently at the moment anyways, we had Take Two come out in their official press release and in the call itself by saying, as we look ahead, we believe that Take Two remains exceedingly well positioned for the long term. Our vision is clear, our talent is unparalleled, and we have one of the strongest portfolios of owned intellectual property in our industry, with many exciting and new titles coming in fiscal 2026, including Grand Theft Auto 6 in the fall of 2025. And you can see here in the table that they did provide in their press release, as you can see the release date under there, Grand Theft Auto 6 fall of calendar 2025. So it's good to see currently at the moment that the game is set to release next year in the fall of calendar next year. In terms of the release time frame, that's between the months of September to December. So there is no delay as of this moment. There is still potential for a delay to occur in the future, but as of this present moment, as per official word from Take Two, the game is still set to release within this time frame. There were some other things that they did mention in terms of the fact that they are confident that they will achieve sequential increases and a record levels of net bookings in the fiscal years 2026 and 2027, which is expected to be the case considering the fact that GTA 6 will be releasing around that time frame. Obviously, Take Two will be making a lot in terms of the revenue from that game and also as well the online component which we don't know at the moment but most likely will be gta 6 online now the question still remains considering we are about a year out from the release of the title itself is the game still going to get delayed? Well, the fact is there is a possibility that it still will. Historically in the past with GTA 5 and Red Dead 2, Rockstar have delayed both of their most recent titles. So with that being said, there is still a chance that the game may in fact get delayed months prior to the release of GTA 6 in terms of this current release time frame that we have at the moment. Now the next earnings call is set to take place in February. But I still think in that particular point in time, if Rockstar don't say anything, if Take-Two don't say anything in terms of delay, if they are still on track for fall 2025, then that is good news. But the next earnings call after that is in May, which is months prior to the release timeframe of the game itself. And considering by that point in time, the game will be expected to release between the months of September to December. And by this particular point in time, that's when Rockstar and Take-Two will have to give their predictions for the next fiscal year and potentially by this point announce a delay hopefully not though by that guys that's pretty much about it from the earnings haul that we got from today it was pretty lackluster a lot of people have been very disappointed from the call that we didn't get anything in relation to GTA 6. Not really any questions from the Q&A portion towards the end of the call where anything was said, but I guess Take-Two are leaving that up to Rockstar Games to announce any new information. But uh, guys, now we need from you down in that comment section below. What do you make of the fact that GTA 6 is still set to release in fall of 2025? Do you think the game is still going to get delayed? I want to make sure we hear from you guys down there. Stay safe. Have a great day and I am out.